Golf. My name is Eric Schulberg with EJS Golf, and I'm here with Amanda. Amanda has been gracious enough to join my program for one year. She is committed <laughs> to practicing 15 minutes a day, which is the program I've always told you guys about and the, and the major results we get through it. And I thought it'd be a good idea since we started last week to introduce you to Amanda, let her say hi, and also um, talk a little bit about what her struggles are and, you know, just kind of go from there. So everybody, Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> hi, yeah, I started golf maybe just over a year ago. Um, I've been an athlete all my life, but have never touched a golf club. So it's been a super fun journey. I've probably played close to 50, 70-ish rounds in the matter of about a year, just under a year and a half. Um, so. And biggest struggles, you would say, are? Biggest struggles are, I hit a lot of my clubs the same distance, yeah. like my nine iron or my six iron, they tend to go the same dis distance. Good, good. Okay, so pay attention each week and watch how we go through this progress of Amanda growing. And we'll uh, kind of each week identify what we're working on, go through the drills we are trying to fix it, and then start off the next week and see where we are with that. And just kind of continue this progression and see where she can get to as a golfer. Let's 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 put this out here right now. What would you say your average score is? Basically, you're playing that like kind of a nine hole course with a couple par fours, but grass clippings right now most of the times. But what would you say your average score is on that, and then maybe a, a full course? Uh, average, About. yeah, average scores. I would say on like the consecutive courses, uh, those will range from like. 82 to maybe 92 ish okay, okay. um and then on like the, the bigger yeah. regular courses uh probably just under 100 anywhere from like 97 to maybe 102 on average okay. my goal is to break 90. i was gonna say gold <laughs> wow i was gonna say 90 guess what I'm, I'm gonna have a goal better than that i really yeah i'm gonna say low you're going you're gonna do better than that yeah. I will take that. Yeah, I will so take that. <laughs> I, I have a lot of faith, so we're going to do it. Okay, so have fun. Watch this each week. Watch the drills that we do to watch it get better. See if they're the same possibly that you need or if you know it's the same thing. And leave some comments below. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Okay, so we're back, and I, I want to talk to you again a little bit about the difference in the folks out there about the two plays. So... That it is some stuff for Amanda's like really different <laughs> than the usual. So what will happen is if Amanda went out and tried to play, it's like, okay, Eric said to do this, 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 and do all this stuff. Guess what's gonna happen? She's gonna play all things. Like it's just not gonna be good. So we have to learn to separate the two. And so what happens when with golf and what I'm teaching is the stuff leaks, I call it leaks into your game. So let's say like Amanda's been working on casting, you're gonna see this stuff. Like she kind of goes like this, and it's a thick gap here, right? So now she's gonna be working on drills to help get here. So what you're gonna see with her working on, one week she's gonna probably be here. Then she's gonna go play and take a picture the next time and be there. Then they'd be here the next month. Then eventually it's gonna be here. I continually work on it, so get there. It's not like just just the one moment you look back and say, okay, now I've finally done it. It leaked in. But you're not gonna do that by thinking of it when you play. So I wanna walk Amanda through like the process of this. So man, I want you to take like doing this little drill we've been doing of the swing where you push back. And, and swing. I want you to feel like you can do that on your practice swing and think about this, right? But when we step up to hit this ball, we want to change our thoughts to two things. Do one thing, I'm going to ask you, do you have anything that you feel you need to do on the back swing for a thought? Like any coil, is there anything you already think about the back swing or no? Or do you just wind up and go? It's a back swing, I think it's fine. It's yep, that front yep. swing keeping my head in the middle. Okay. And that I think it's always that front swing. So let's, I want to change your focus. So, since you don't have to worry about back swing, you do good. Let's change our focus on the on the first swing to make sure we're lighting up here in front of the ball. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this is you're gonna take a practice swing right here, and I'm gonna have you hit this ball. You're gonna come up here like this is like you playing golf right now. You're gonna get here, you're gonna take a little practice swing, right? Doing a drill, right? Okay. And you're gonna feel like this, and you feel like you you're gonna feel like you hit up front. Then you're gonna step up to the ball to hit this, and you're not you obviously don't think you think back here, but you're gonna definitely think of hitting in front here. Okay. And that's the two thoughts you're gonna have, that's it, right? Okay. Well, I guess one, you're hitting in front, right? okay? So I'm going to move this just a little bit over this way, and then Amanda's I'm going to go do the process. I'm actually going to do this and go from behind and okay. have you do it. I hope no one's getting sick right now. <laughs> yeah. So you can think about all you want on the practice swing, right? You want on the practice swing, right? And you're going to get in front of it, too. Make sure you land in front. If not, you got to do it again. Good. Did you land in front? I think so. Okay. We're going to do it again. Right, 
Can I move the mic? Like let the solar go down. Keep it going down as you come through. As you come through. There you go. Now you got it. There you go. Sometimes the solar gets up too high on the way down. Okay. So you're gonna have trouble getting down. You gotta okay. feel just that starts with try one more press. Just try to kind of dive into it a little bit and feel each shoulder. There you go. Right, there we go. Perfect. Now this next one you're gonna think about just sitting in front, okay? Um, I would take that all day long. It started out a little bit right and had about a four yard draw. Perfectly solid. Good job. That's oh, all good. <laughs> Way to go. Okay, so thanks for watching and thanks for doing this. Yeah. Oh, awesome. 10 to 15 minutes or 50 ish reps a day. That's it. <laughs>